when it comes to one of the kings of protein, can't go past good old chicken breast. Unfortunately, chicken breast can be hard to cook. It can turn out dry, it can turn out pretty bland. I have eaten hundreds and hundreds of kilos of chicken breast over the past 25 years. I've learned a few things when it comes to cooking chicken breast. So here is a relatively straightforward way to cook chicken breast so it doesn't dry out on the barbecue. There's a few things that you need, a little bit of prep, but it will go a very, very long way to making sure that the chicken breast always comes out nice and tender, nice and juicy, never too dry. So look, first things first, you're going to need a meat tenderizer, a food thermometer when you're cooking. If you don't have one of these, I'm telling you, it's probably the single best investment you can make when it comes to cooking. Some seasoning, and then we're ready to go. So first thing we wanna do, we wanna tenderize the chicken breast, but also, the chicken breast is probably gonna be a bit too thick if it's like that. You're gonna have one thick part and one thin part. It's gonna be hard to cook it evenly. It's gonna dry out. It's also going to flatten it out so that it cooks nice and evenly. It also tenderizes it. So that's the first thing that we wanna do. So, a bit of baking paper we need as well. I like to use a bit of avocado oil. It's got a high smoke point. It won't burn as easily as, say, olive oil, which can be a bit bitter when you cook with it. I love olive oil, don't get me wrong, fantastic oil. But a bit of avocado oil, and all we do is put a little bit down onto the baking paper so that the baking paper doesn't rip. And we get some chicken breast. It's like to give it a bit of a hit on both sides like that. And then what we want to do is we want to flatten it out with the meat tenderizer so that it's a nice even consistency and the tenderizing helps as well. Give it a bit of a check to make sure it's even, not too bad. And there we go, look at that, beautiful. Now, because you're going to be eating so much chicken breast, you don't want to be hating what you eat. And this is one tip I highly recommend. Put a bit of salt on the night before. It's called dry brining. And what will happen is the salt will evenly distribute through the chicken breast overnight. And it will be much more flavorful when you cook it, uh, when you eat it up. So I'll put a bit of salt. And then purely because I've got the pepper and I love a bit of garlic powder, granulated garlic, sorry. I just like to do this all at the one time. You can put the granulated garlic and the pepper on after you cook it if you want. I just like to do it all at the same time so that it's ready to go. You need to season both sides. A little bit of salt, a little bit of granulated garlic, and then put that in the fridge and leave it in the fridge for a good 24 hours. If you don't have 24 hours, you could leave it in for even a few hours just so that the salt will start to be um, evenly distributed through the meat. It makes a big, big difference. So I'm gonna do both sides. I'm gonna do the next chicken breast. I'm gonna put it in the fridge for a good four hours and then I'm gonna come back to it. Uh, it's been a couple of hours. Ideally, I do this overnight. Now you might be saying, well, there's so much work involved in this. Not really, all we've done is uh, season the chicken breast, hit it with the meat tenderizer. You just do that the night before and then the chicken breast is ready to go. So it's been in the fridge for a couple of hours. Take a look, there it is. And look at that, ready for the barbecue, ready to go. And now it's time to cook it up on the barbie. Two really important considerations with the barbecue. Number one, you've got to make sure it's hot. This is sitting at about 300 degrees. So you want to make sure that the grill is hot. And then you want to put some oil on the grill while it's hot. Otherwise the chicken breast is going to stick down. I like to use a high heat oil, so avocado oil or a vegetable oil. Again, uh, olive oil will tend to burn, it will be really bitter. So, just want to make sure the barbie is all oiled up when it's hot. And then I like to give it a bit of a wipe down. Just to make sure it's nice and clean. And another little hit. And then we're ready to put the chicken breast on. Now this is where you need a timer. Probably about two minutes when it's flattened out like this, two minutes per side will be perfect. So I've got the stopwatch ready, got the thermometer ready, and we're gonna throw it on. Two minutes each side, and then we'll see where we end up after that. 
All right, it's been about two minutes. You definitely want to stop watch to make sure you get the timing right. I reckon that's going to be pretty good for the first turn. So two minutes, give it a bit of a turn. And two more minutes and then we'll take the temperature and we'll see if chicken breast is ready to go. All right, it's been four minutes. I reckon it's going to be pretty good. Only one way to find out. Take it off and then we will test the temperature and then we can always throw it back on. So it's not the end of the world if it's not the right temperature. Looks pretty good. Food thermometer is your best friend. I'm telling you to get one. You can't get it wrong when you're cooking. So you want the chicken breast to be about, I like to take it off at about 72 degrees. You want it about 74 degrees and it will come up. It'll come up another couple of degrees after you actually take it off. So when it sits for a while, it'll come up a couple of degrees. So that's 72.5, which is perfect. And now if I leave that for a couple of minutes, it will continue to rise up in temperature. Let it sit for a good five minutes or so, and then we'll slice it up and we'll see. But that was literally four minutes aside. It's pre-seasoned, it's got the oil on there. Doesn't get much easier than that. So let's see how it goes in a couple of minutes. And so look at that, ready to go. Very happy with that. Let it sit for a couple of minutes after it comes off the barbie so that all the juices uh, redistribute. Otherwise, when you cut it, you're gonna have liquid chicken everywhere. Final thing, slice it up and see how it goes. So here we go, taste test time. Feels tender. It'll be the perfect temp at about 74 degrees. So it's cooked all the way through. You wanna make sure you cook your chicken through so you don't get sick. All right, here we go, honest taste test. Mm. Unbelievable, no matter how many times I have barbecue chicken, I still love it. Tender, juicy. Could eat this all day every day so there you go barbecue chicken breast one way to do it so that it's not dry it's juicy and it's going to be good every time